when I buy the cocoons, if I have like a, such a big bag of cocoons, there will be maybe that little which I can use for these artworks, which are strong enough for these artworks. All the rest I have to throw away because they're too weak. So I thought, what would you do with that now? Because there's so many. There were like, there was a whole, uh, a whole room with my, in my house full with cocoons, with like weak cocoons. And then uh, I started doing this. My name is Ida Ivanka Kubler, and these are the letter series. At first, there was a worm. The worm turned it around itself 10,000 times and built this cocoon. It's creating silk fiber and it is sticking it with its spit. So it creates this beautiful cocoon, which is unique. And then it turns to a butterfly and makes a hole and goes out in order to lay eggs. So I take the empty cocoon and I use it for my works. Um, I extract the silk fiber by um, dissolving the spit of the worm in hot water. And then with the fork, I'm pulling uh, the fibers out of the silk, uh, silk worm spit. Silk cocoons are very durable material. They are nurtured cocoons from 2000 years ago. Um, and also the silk fibers is one of the strongest fiber in the world as people have been using them uh, to make um, heart operations with it. After the, the cocoons have been in boiling water for a little while, the spit of the worm dissolves. After they have dried, um, I, I layer them on, uh, on the floor and I paint them with violet or purple paint evenly. Um, sometimes the paint is very fluid, so I almost sculpture it onto the floor. And that way they have to dry again for 24 hours or maybe even longer, 48 hours. I take a simple square canvas and I paint it in anthracite or gray, dark gray color. On top of it, I lay down and sculpture with my hands the dried violet fibers. And I squeeze them and I sculpture them in a way that they fit perfectly fine as a layer on top of the canvas. These series are called the letter series and they were meant to look like letters like these are scribbles these fibers are made to look like different type of scribbles of different languages so they can be read by anybody interestingly enough people said that these artworks look like forest or grass or something underwater, like, like a hidden world. So this is the mystery of it. Violet is a color which is about mystery, secrets, dreams, imaginations, subtle love. Violet is the color which is like, almost like black, but it's kind of darker and deeper and heavier than black. It enlightens your psyche, at the same time, it brings you down to ground. My name is Ida Ivanka Kubler, and these are the letter series.